Hey everybody, Troy Boy here, the Troy You Can Trust, back with the Walking Dead Rose Map video. Featuring a temporary event coming for Faction Assault. We shall call this the Winter Assault Event. Here's a scope post detailing what is to come, and it says, Starting Tuesday, December 18th at 4pm PDT, the Winter Assault Event will begin. Players will earn holiday theme collectibles from playing Faction Assault that they can redeem in the museum for powerful rewards. We're making some big changes to the Faction Assault ticket system and their cooldown timers to allow factions and players to play Faction Assault even more throughout the event. Usually in the past, if I remember, we got something maybe once or twice for a weekend, or maybe something close to a week-long Faction Assault buff, but this one is going on for almost three weeks, so that's going to be pretty interesting. We really should feel it in our everyday playing if it's going to be lasting for three weeks. Daily Ticket Gift Every day, all players will be gifted 500 free Faction Assault tickets. So this is pretty generous. If this is going to last, let's say, 20 days, and for easy math, we get 500 Faction Assault tickets, we will get roughly around 10,000 Faction Assault tickets per member for the event. If you have 30 active members, you're going to be looking around 300,000 Faction Assault tickets given out faction-wide for the event. A big question in my mind is, are daily cap, daily limit being raised? Removed? Is just doing daily survival road going to be enough? and you're done contributing because hitting the cap is going to happen actually pretty fast from if I had to guess. And I fear it might go against what this event is actually trying to accomplish, which is getting people to come back to the game and or play the game more often throughout the day. If people are excited that they can do more faction assaults, but are still limited, then has anything really changed? Another perspective I can see is looking at how many tickets we will be getting daily, which is 500. So what makes me think this is, is our daily cap minus 500 around what your average player is getting daily and then just stops playing? Personally, I would love to see the daily limit removed and to allow us all to play and run as many faction assaults as we desire with no fun police during this event. Increase ticket generation. Faction assault tickets generated from standard sources will be increased by three. This is pretty standard. You can see here in the images that this is what they give now, and if we multiply by three, this is how much we will be getting during the event. Cooldown timers will be turned off. Cooldown timers for all tiers of Faction Assault will be disabled for the duration event. Yes, this means you can immediately start Faction Assault again once your faction finishes a run at any tier. We're really excited to give players greater access to Faction Assault during this holiday event, which ends Sunday, January 6th. The no cooldown portion is cool and definitely warranted for this as we will be getting three times the amount of tickets, but I also feel it should have been like this the entire time. But still a very nice change. I also see this as an attempt to get Terra into more rosters. I have noticed myself that we're starting to deal with greens and reds now, so a move like this isn't too far-fetched. I honestly can see after this event and going into the new year, that another type of survivor for the year will be added or be replacing Terra to maybe keep value to Faction Assault by updating what is given out. Now let's talk about the rewards. Players will earn collectibles from playing Faction Assault that they will redeem in the museum for rewards. I say bravo. It's nice to see more integration with Faction Assault and the museum. The event collectibles will be earned via the rank rewards for each Faction Assault playthrough. Important note, the amount of collectibles earned in a rank reward will be the same across all player ranks. This means that all players in a faction will get the same amount of collectible rewards, regardless of their rank, for each faction assault attempt. Just make sure you get in a hit each attempt to ensure you receive your collectible reward. This right here is awesome to hear. People are less penalized for where they stand in the power structure of a faction in this 20-day-ish event for the event currency. There are ways to reward people for input, and that is what milestones are for. But I think if you're going to give rewards that are not consistent throughout a faction, that is made to be given out only for completion when there is a chance of failing causes internal struggles within the faction and encourages selfish gameplay, as this is supposed to be a collective effort. Even if the attempt isn't malicious, you still have situations such as player A has over 2 million points in faction assault but has to halt their gameplay due to needing to let others take part even if they have multiple attacks left. Well, at this point, you have disrupted somebody's gameplay if they are actually trying to attempt the hardest difficulty, Faction Assault. I think Faction Assault puts factions in a position where it's, we need to wait for everyone to get in attacks because it's just too easy. And we don't want to look selfish and have people miss rewards. Rather than having the top difficulty be for players, we need the players that haven't attacked yet to attack because this is extremely hard and we need their firepower to weaken the boss more so we can get a kill. 
If you've ever played Boom Beach and did any operations, then you know where I'm coming from as operations are very similar to the design of Faction Assault, where a group of people go under the same banner and complete something together. I think if you have the latter, you will have more people on the happy side and maybe have a less of a negative attitude as they will have completed something hard and the rewards are for the whole faction. Games like Boom Beach where you are thrilled when someone does an amazing attack during an operation rather than seeing someone score super high and think to yourself, might want to slow your roll there, buddy. I also think the ability to spam this more often will help alleviate some of the stress that comes with faction assault. If you are a faction that only does one or two faction assaults a month, I can see where stress and tension is coming from, but if this was something that was to happen more occasionally, then I feel we would be heading towards a Boom Beach Operation feelings, emotion, mentality that will bring a more enjoyable experience. I think I've ran it on long enough about that, so let's move on. But I think what they're doing here for this event, whether it be a one-time thing or just a task of some sort, is a step in the right direction. The amount of collectibles rewarded per attempt depends on the difficulty tier, with the higher tiers providing more collectibles. Thumbs up for me on this one. The harder the faction assault is, which is, well, the harder the tier you do, you should reap more reward currencies for this event. In the museum, event collections can be redeemed for winter tokens legendary gear, or an epic gear. It seems this is another version for the rewards of the museum gear event that we had with our weekly tournament events such as level up events, raids, and survival roads. Instead of those events, Faction Assault is going to take a crack at it. The costs are unknown for these and we will hopefully get more information about this when it gets closer to live. There you have it folks, that is the scope post for the Winter Assault event coming in three days. Another reminder to not, I repeat, do not start a faction assault until December 18th at 4 p.m. PDT, as the cooldown will not be reset when it starts, and you will have to sit there and waste days, and you're going to be kicking yourself if that is the case. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoked the video, make sure to like, forge anything positive, please give a nice gratitude, like, subscribe button, make sure you leave a comment down below. Sports greatly appreciated. Note that I'll catch you all in the next video.